Welcome back guys, what's up? My name is Wildstrang DSG, or known to you as Dan. And guys, make sure you leave the video like and all that cool stuff. I got a little update thingy. I might bring back the graphics. If you don't know what the graphics are, go back and watch FIFA 13 videos. <laughs> They're on there. And um, I might bring them out. I'm not too sure yet. But I because I want to do a load more series, the graphics kind of take a lot of time to do it. So they kind of do... Uh, the priority is quite low on them. But anyway, we've got three games through the day. You may have just seen. We've got Everton. We've got West Ham. We have got Cardiff City. We are hoping, hoping to get ourselves a bag of nine points here. They haven't been playing too well lately. But the thing is, our fixtures recently have not been brilliant. Uh, which is kind of that downside. But as well, I want to mention in the last step. So I did ask you guys who you playing with in your particular career mode. A lot, some of you said Southampton. Um, a lot of you are going the teams that you support, which I found pretty cool. Like I normally, I normally go a team I support, but every so often I like to try something different. You know what I mean? Like to um, just spice that. But we did go one 0 down with Baines with free kick. It was guaranteed to go in, but a mistake on the 45th minute, and they do end. We do end up missing. But the question I want to ask you guys right now is who is your like star signing in your career modes like who do you buy and you know for fight he's going to do a good job for you let me know in the comments below for me it is Roas I will always buy him and he always does a good job um, but unfortunately because he recently transferred a club I can't actually buy him in my first season which is kind of disappointing but it doesn't matter um and sure we um back into the game now back onto this so guys we just leave a, a comment right now tell me who is your star player in your career modes it could be someone you've recently bought it could be someone you've or who you've actually had in past career modes but let me know below um but anyway okay so going into our next game we did end up losing against everton which wasn't exactly brilliant but we have got west ham now away which i would say is quite a quite a tough fixture west ham got very good players on you if you are going from fifa terms wise they've got a good very very good side overall rating like if you're going to compare it to ours we don't exactly have the best overall um but recently as well i've been changing formation stuff around like ben Teke for me has not been doing the work he has got a medium medium attacking work rate and stuff um yeah attacking and defensive work rate but the thing is it's a bit like ah, oh, I've, I've been changing it i've put him on attacking and low High and low even for thing. But he just do, he doesn't do brilliant. But anyway, we go one the lap within 11 minutes. Zaha was the star player this particular game. You, I'm not going to lie. Look at this. We get a chance here with Zaha. I was very ambitious. I wouldn't normally... Normally, I would try and play. Try and get closer to the goal. But for those situations, like, you got to go for a shot. I mean, and then Pablo Hernandez, our new signing. A cracking first season for him. Not going to lie, he's doing very, very well, and we get a chance, and it's a goal. And that's what I mean. We're playing a one up front with Ben Tech, and Ben Tech is nowhere to be seen in the box. And even when I've changed the work rates and stuff on him, he just doesn't seem to be there. And I think in, I'm thinking in January, we sell him. It could be a bad move, unless I figure something out that I can work out. He's going to be sold, in my opinion. Guys, let me know as well in the comments who could I replace Ben Teke with. And sure, they do end up getting a penalty, but they do end up missing. We went the right way, so we did predict right, so we deserve to save it anyway. They deserve to miss even. So 2 0 at half time. So, guys, let me know in the comments as well. If it was a strike I could buy for a good price, look at this. Absolute brilliant from Zaha. I mean, this is just why I had off him all game. That a lot better compared to FIFA 13 and FIFA 12. Didn't like him on past FIFA's, but FIFA 14, he is amazing. Make it to the buying him in uh, full time, um, on a full contract even in the summer if we do end up staying with Villa, of course. And anyway, we get a chance here. Comes in and look at that, Delph with a goal to make it through nil in 87 minutes. That's what I mean. Ben Teddy didn't even get in the play; like he wasn't even involved. So he kind of really started to bug me out a little bit. Um, with him, he's doing very disappointing. So, guys, let me know in the comments. We have got Bonho. I could just play a Bonho and then just sell Ben Teke and then see who I can work with. But the thing is, at the moment, we got Vyman injured, uh, which is probably one of my favourite players on FIFA from Aston Villa. He's a quality, quality striker, but unfortunately, he's injured at the moment. We are playing a 4 5 1, but with a 4 2 3 1 formation. Um, so basically we've got three attack no we got a left mid a right mid a time if you're the two CDMs and a striker and here with them Cardiff do end up making a mistake you're seven minutes in and we do end up trying to close them down and look at this just kind of sums up our game here and we get close but not close enough um, but then we uh, do kind of get punished for a lousy mistake um, as you can see Vala or Vala I forgot I forgot his name um, just stood there 
you just stood there, you didn't run away, and uh, this bugs me with auto-switching sometimes. I have to have it on, because I sometimes I forget, but then I prefer it off, and then, I don't know, I have to have it on, personally. But uh, anyway, we get a chance here, charging on the attack. We get another one, and it was just, it comes off the bar. It's, uh, we get, we dominate this game uh, throughout, and that was kind of the annoying thing. There weren't many chances, is the fact that we, we had a lot of the ball, which kind of seems the morale of our story. We... The way I play is keeping the ball, and no matter how good or bad I'll play that game, I will always have more possession than my opponent if we win or lose, even I should say. Um, and that's what kind of happens, and that's kind of what's happening at the moment. We need to f try and figure out a formation which will work for us. It's not looking good. We've dropped down the table. We're now in 15th. That's the end of this episode. My name's Dan. My name's Washington DSG. Guys, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you tell me you're a star player. And suggest me a striker blow. Bye.